Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another free for <laughs> Whoa, okay, got a little carried away there, guys, but as I was trying to say, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another free for all. The uninitiated amongst you might be asking yourselves, what the hell is a free for all? Well, quite simply, it's a high score competition. I choose a free game, I set a high score, and then I challenge you to beat me. At the end of the competition, whoever's beaten me by the most, or just in case nobody beats me, whoever's come closest wins a prize. What type of a prize? Well, probably just some cheap piece of crap I find lying around, but you know, you'll still get something to celebrate your impressive victory. Longtime viewers of the channel should remember Free For All. The last time we held a competition, we played Vlam Beer's amazing hamster shooting guns and collecting boxes simulator, Super Crate Box. And that competition was won by Mr. Savian. 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 It's been like a year and I still can't pronounce your name, okay? I'm going with Savian until I hear something different. So our previous winner, Savian, was rewarded with something... I, I don't remember what the prize was. And it was probably valued at, I don't know, a couple bucks. Whatever. Might have even gotten it for free. I don't know. I'm cheap, okay? It's the whole deal here. The point is... It was community interaction. We all have fun. A few of us participated in some back and forth. It was really great. We had video responses posted on multiple people's channels. Hey, it was cool. Big thumbs up. I really, really enjoyed the whole concept, and that's why I waited like a year to do it again. Okay, this keeps getting worse the further I go. I'm digging myself into a hole here, so let's just get on with the new free-for-all. This time around, we're going to feature Curve Studios' amazing 2D stealth game, Stealth Bastard. You may have noticed a few days ago a deluxe version of Stealth Bastard was released on Steam. And that's what spurred me to actually get back into this and relaunch Free For All. You see, originally I was working on a custom Stealth Bastard level to be used in the second Free For All. Unfortunately, I got bogged down in the level creator and ended up just trying to do too much. Now I found that level, I have rehashed it, sort of revitalized it if you will, into a much more streamlined product and I have it ready for release. So here's what we're going to do for this free-for-all. We are going to utilize the free version of Stealth Bastard, which does still exist. You're going to grab my level, you're going to play it, you're going to post your fastest time, and then you're going to send me a screenshot of your fastest time. I'm not relying on the leaderboards, I'm not relying on video submissions like we did last time, just a screen capture of your fastest time sent to me, Big Dave is cheap at gmail.com. Big Dave is cheap at gmail.com. And now that we've got those boring particulars out of the way, let's move on to the boring details of what you'll need to do in order to participate in this free for all. First of all, open up your favorite browser, hopefully your homepage defaults right to BigDavisCheap.com like mine does, and let's acquire the free version of Stealth Bastard. You are going to want to go to this thing where you type stuff and type that, StealthBastard.com. Visit the website. As the website loads, you'll notice it is a large ad for the deluxe version of Stealth Bastard. That's not what we want, of course. We want the free version. And where would one hide a free version? after having just released your deluxe pay version? Well, quite simply at the very bottom of the page in the very last section that anyone might actually look. So here is the link to the original free version of Stealth Bastard. Click it, you will be prompted to download it, you should then install it and do all that good stuff. So you go ahead and do that, run the program and then meet me back here in like two seconds. So you've now installed Stealth Bastard, you created your account, and you are here at the main menu screen. Might I suggest that you start off by simply playing Stealth Bastard. Do the tutorial, get a feel for the game, and when you feel confident, come down here to download levels. First time you pop in here, it's going to ask you to download all 1100 plus levels. Set that up and then go for a brisk run. Call your lady friend, smoke a fine cigar, whatever it is you do to kill 10 or 15 minutes, and then come back. 
You should find all the levels ready to go and free for all by Cheap Dave, that's me, should be very close to the top of your list as sorted by last downloaded. If you're having trouble finding the level, head over here to this fantastic looking magnifying glass, filter, and filter levels by string. Enter the name of the level, free for all, that's the number four, because that's hip, and you will see the level right there in your search results, the only level called free for all. You will notice a leaderboard. I have already set a score, so has an anonymous person named Congo. What you'll also notice as you start to play is that these scores will seem unattainable at first glance. The one hint I will give you is that there are secrets in this level. Secret passages of all sorts. It's riddled with secret passages. So the initial path that you can see is probably not the fastest path. So play around, run through the level a few times, get a feel for it, and then try to post your fastest time. I will not be using the leaderboards to track anything because frankly the leaderboards are open to shenanigans. And it's not that I don't trust you guys, I just don't trust anybody. So nothing against you guys specifically, I'm just distrustful of all peoples. Because for all I know someone's going to come to me and say, hey I'm Congo, look at my score, I have already set a great score as Congo, where's my prize? Yeah. So run through and give me a screenshot that looks like this. You're seeing it on your screen right now. This is what a screenshot of your time should look like. Send that to BigDavisCheap at gmail.com. If you have the fastest time, you will win. Plain and simple. The contest is going to go through the 20th of December. Sometime in the middle of that, I will put a an update video out, let's say. I'll show you the times, I'll break it down for you, and you can feel free to submit as many scores as you want. There is no limit to the amount of times that you can participate in this contest, so if you shave even a one hundredth of a second off your time, feel free to send me the screenshot. I will empty out my mailbox and just be ready to receive the tens of submissions that I will probably get for this contest. Now this is a contest, so what's the prize? Well, to be redundant, it's Stealth Bastard. Deluxe. So for playing this, the free version of Stealth Bastard and winning with the highest or with the lowest time, you will get Stealth Bastard Deluxe. If you already own this game, then I can probably arrange for something else, but that's what we got. That's the prize. That's what you're competing for. Stealth Bastard Deluxe. The deluxe version of this game is wonderful. It's great and extended. Lots of extra levels, lots of extra content. Big thumbs up. Curve did a great job with the deluxe edition, and I'm really happy that they have gotten this game onto Steam. So run through, free for all style, get your fastest time, send me the screenshot, I'll give you guys the update in a few days on exactly where the standings are, and you can keep trying to top one another and fight for the top spot in the free for all. Alright guys, I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.